Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GTX 1066 Gigabyte model. As you can see right there in MSI Afterburner. This one is the Gaming X version from MSI. I'm running the latest drivers from NVIDIA. I also overclocked this GPU a little bit here. Plus 100 megahertz on the core clock, plus 250 megahertz on the memory clock. As you can see right there, I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, the RAM is dual channel, 3200 megahertz. CL14 and you don't need the Ryzen 7 3700X if you want to get these FPS that we're about to see in this video. Something like a Ryzen 3 3300X will deliver absolutely the same FPS. So going over the settings here, I'm going to be playing at 1080p resolution, 1920 by 1080 using the low end, medium, high end and ultra settings presets. Starting off with a low end of course, let's get into it my friends, 100% resolution scale and everything else. Let's go. We are flying over all base here right now let me just switch to my controller because otherwise I can't really do anything yeah this is the capital of Albania right now which uh, is Tirana yes okay so uh, I, I'm not really seeing a huge huge city so we might need to check out New York City after this on low settings still but let's just fly over it a little bit here because this was a request from a viewer of course so um, it's running pretty well here with the 1060 as you can see uh, 70 something FPS let's get close to the houses down there which is where you're gonna see the most stuttering occur as well as the minimum FPS going really really close to the buildings here we're still kind of above 60 FPS a little bit of stuttering there bringing those 1% lows down but it's not too bad you know it's mostly like a 60 plus experience oh my gosh I was looking at the, the FPS there oh boy massive massive stutter both in uh, me talking and in the game as well but we're losing speed guys we're losing speed no I don't want to crash come on buddy we can do this all right all good all right so this is a much bigger part of the city guys we should be able to lower our FPS from 60 over here as you can see yeah pretty good stuff well not really you don't want less than 60 FPS but in this game I say like 25 plus is absolutely playable 30 plus is what you should aim for but if you really want the extra fidelity in graphics I guess 25 is not too bad but less than that yeah it's just gonna become really really choppy and not really that playable in my opinion so uh, to my surprise it's actually a, a quite a big of a city you know I, I wasn't expecting this the guy that told me to visit Albania uh, said that it was a small little uh, country you know so uh, yeah this is quite big it's quite stuttery so it still brings our 1060 or our system to its knees I guess but we're still getting a 60 something FPS here on average which is a good thing you know if you want 60 fps you know you have to play on low settings with the 1066 gigabyte and it's just yeah the stutters are horrible but remember that this is a simulator uh, so it's okay i guess it's not really a game so you don't really need smooth fps all over the time right i'm gonna stop it right there for the low settings that's enough we got flat 60 fps there on average and the one percent lows are still counting for some reason 32 or 31 FPS 1% lows, not too bad. Let's set it now to medium settings. I'm gonna apply that. Uh, we're just gonna fly over Albania for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go to New York to test medium settings there. Uh, okay, uh, let me, okay, good stuff. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Every time I, I, I just crank up the settings from low settings to medium, it just looks way too beautiful. Look at this. It's actually a big city, my friends, holy. We haven't been to this part of the city yet, I think. I don't remember these buildings. These are huge. But of course, New York is like the most demanding area in this entire world map in this game. So we got to check that out. All right. So uh, you can expect like 30 something FPS here on medium settings and a massive, massive jump in visual fidelity and visual quality. So I, I will definitely play on medium settings, guys. It gets more stuttering, of course. Uh, but it just looks way too beautiful for you to play on low guys. Okay, so oh wow quite a big lake over here Very very nice. I like this beautiful capital so far So I I'm I'm really enjoying to visit different places here in Microsoft flight simulator my friends Thank you very much for suggesting and requesting the locations here 
Holy, this is huge. Look at this. Okay, then I definitely underestimated the size of Albania here Or at least the the capital of it, you know So we got 40 FPS around that on average in Albania and 18 1% lows I guess in New York. It's probably gonna be like around 30 35 on average and oh Boy, okay, so this is extremely demanding. We are up here. Maybe things were still loading. Okay, yeah, all right then. Th that's much better then. Okay, let me just increase the throttle speed right here. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna start counting our FPS. We're gonna fly over the buildings there. Very, very close to them. Maybe like in the other margin of the river. Yeah, probably. Oh boy, it's actually at 20 something. 1% lows are at, uh, were at 8, uh, but it's okay. It was just stuttering for a second right there for a few seconds actually right now it's good uh, all right let me just see if I can not crash into everything <laughs> I will very much like to not crash into everything over here but you know what guys uh, I was expecting like 35 FPS around that on average of course there's more stuttering right here in this area and our VRAM utilization is higher as well as our RAM utilization because there's so much more going on but still this is not bad at all guys like I I expected 35 FPS and we're well above that on average okay aside from those stutters it's mostly between like 35 and 40 this is quite impressive for New York as I told you this is the most demanding city in the entire map of or, well I guess in the entire world map <laughs> it's good that we're getting 30 plus FPS still at medium settings I I was expecting a little bit less than that I was expecting it to drop into like the high 20s maybe whenever we approach the ground but no it seems to be very uh, playable here yeah I'm not gonna say smooth because there's a lot of stuttering of course but it's definitely very playable now look at this oh boy that's a massive massive stutter god damn it if it wasn't for gosh what the hell like oh man okay I will still play on medium settings my friends but just keep in mind that these freezes will happen if we fly too close to the ground in very very dense city areas you know so keep that in mind 1% loss of 3 that's absolutely crazy <laughs> high settings my friends at 1080p resolution let's do this once again and uh, all right here we go I'm gonna start counting the FPS right now our wimps and lows are already absolutely atrocious but they aren't as bad as they were before uh, I guess if you have 32 gigabytes of RAM guys, it will help a lot with these stutters It won't solve every single stuttering issue in this game because well, yeah game that I am in the simulator Okay, it won't solve every stuttering issue It will still stutter a lot with 32 gigabytes of RAM and also more VRAM as well So maybe just upgrade your card as well Maybe upgrade your entire PC while you're at it. I don't care, you know. <laughs> Next generation is coming very, very soon. So that's what this game was meant to be ran on. High settings, my friends, looks beautiful, obviously. Like, it, it looked very, very beautiful on medium already. But high just looks a little bit better. And you can definitely notice the differences in graphics, by the way. But you can also tell the difference in the massive FPS drop that we got just for increasing the settings from medium to high. So we are below uh, 30 FPS on average right now. 1% lows are at 6 which um, I, 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 I'm just not even gonna comment on that more than this, okay? <laughs> like, I think I've already told everything that had to be told about this game's optimization. Well, anyways, I guess this is it for New York City and high settings. We should uh, be good by now. Now, keep in mind that outside of New York, it won't stutter as much. You've already seen that with Albania, of course. Uh, it will still stutter, but not like this. This is absolutely, like, insanely ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm gonna visit some other location right now. I'm just gonna run around for a little bit on Ultra as well before I check out the other location, okay? So, just so you know, the FPS that you can expect around this area on Ultra settings, which... Uh, okay, it, it drops. Maybe it's still applying. Probably not, to be honest, but uh, it's in the mid-20s like very far from the city if we go down there it's gonna be 
really, really bad, probably. I'm gonna start counting the FPS. Why the heck not? Right? Oh my! Oh my God! My 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 controller is actually vibrating a lot right now, and it's it's kind of vibrating with the stutters. You know, <laughs> it's interesting. It's a very very immersive experience. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so we managed to get one FPS in the 1% lows right there. Um, oh, oh, it just crashed. Okay then, well, it's just, it, it can't handle it anymore. Let me just check the memory usage. Yeah, it was absolutely maxed out. All right, my friends, we are now in Cyprus testing the GTX 1060, of course, in the ultra settings and... Oh boy, yeah, things are not looking good, my friends. This is uh, pretty much the same as New York. Maybe it's gonna stutter slightly less once you're down there, but uh, this is huge, by the way. I, I, I never imagined that Cyprus was this big, at least the capital, you know? Oh boy, yeah, this is this is really, really bad, guys. Like, the 1060 is really struggling, as well as my PC. They're really struggling to play this game properly, so don't do this, guys. That's enough for this video. We're gonna visit Cyprus again in the next one, because we, we saw little of it, you know? Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and if it was informative and helpful to you. Maybe because you're subscribing, if you want to watch more videos like this one, and uh, other videos that I have in the channel. You know, it's not only these kinds of videos, I also do other kinds of videos. Anyways, my friends, that's been it for Flight Simulator in the 1060. As always, see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.